Okay, just on the way back now. You can see it's late in the day and everybody's packing up. We're starting to. It's actually a nice time to walk through the market because it's not so busy. And as Chinatown Market wraps up, Sampang Market, the, my favorite time is approaching, which is nighttime. It'll be a completely different scene, and you'll see that upcoming. And this is the central focal point of what's upcoming the food. And emerging back onto Main Yaorat Road, I want to head up there and have a look. Starbucks and the Grand China Hotel. I forget how to get up here. Perhaps through here. Sky view, that's what I'm after. Hopefully they let you up there to have a look. Probably have to get something to eat or drink. I prefer to get something to drink. I want to eat on the street. Well, the rooms here look quite nice, at least the photos. That's a very good sized room. I like the I like the desk computer. You can do some work. A fridge, safe, and slippers too. In the bathroom, very important. Very important, yes. Rain shower. Cocktail. It's not bad. Thank you. Here. Hello. <laughs> Forty cup. Forty cup. Beautiful. There's the view. It's spectacular, isn't it? Chow Phraya. Really good view of Chinatown here in the city and the river. Beautiful. We're just before the dinner hour here, so. Prices aren't bad, really. Two ninety eight for spaghetti arabatia. <laughs> Quite a contrast. The old and the new. You see the city skyline, and then the, all the watts. Stunning, stunning skyline of Bangkok. All right. So we can go downstairs to the bar here. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Oh yeah. My goodness. This, this is the view from the open air bar just downstairs. 23rd floor. Okay, thank you. I'm not sure, but I think it still revolves. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cop and Cop. Okay, so that's how you get to the top floor. And the view. Onwards. Almost getting nighttime now. We have another Chinatown classic right there. Beautiful old building. And right in almost the heart of Yarat, closer to the heart of Yarat. It's the Hotel Royal Bangkok. And it has a pool on the roof right up there. Let's go have a look. Okay, just have a look for a look then up to the pool. Huh? Window, deluxe. Deluxe room with window. We have one double and three. I like that you have a chair and a desk. Oh, rain shower and frosted glass. Okay. Yeah, this is really nice. I think you can see the river. You know? Wow, look at the view. Fantastic. Pretty place to come up and have a drink, have a swim. It's worth it just for the view.
a good value for money. Great location. Very handily, this 7 Eleven right downstairs. Perfect. Look at the choice of waters. <laughs> Quick beer price check over here. 41 for Singa, 40 for Chang, small bottle. Okay, next. Still not nighttime, but uh, things are starting to pick up. Here's Yalrat 6 for Hope. When you walk up here, it turns into Sea Pope. It's an absolute must see halfway it turns into one or the other, depending which direction you're coming from. pan around. Take a look at the backdrop here too. Right here in the center of Chinatown. Beautiful building. Almost reclaimed actually. This is the Lingue Ia Shrine. Assumed to be the oldest Chinese shrine in Thailand. This is evident in the plaque inscribed in Chinese stating that it was built in 1658. Starting to get nighttime here now. So things are picking up. Yep, it's kicking off now. <laughs> Kun Fang on you. I love you. Chokey Cap. Everywhere you look is a queue. <laughs> Just for this place. This is all for this one seafood place right there. Amazing. I think you're looking good. Fish ball. You fish ball. <laughs> Thailand without bugs. This guy wants a trophy. Oh, it could be a YouTuber.
I'm just no words. <laughs> Okay, success. I managed to get a seat. Okay, it's here. Moist and beautiful. And a few moments later. Nothing more to add, really. Fantastic. So that all together was 300 baht. Now, let's find somewhere to drink, shall we? Now. He goes off to fight crime or well something like that. Second traffic first. <laughs> you see it all here in Chinatown. Pandemonium, I love it. it reminds me a little bit of Yangon when I was there. Well, what's the name of that street in Yangon? Crop. Doesn't get much more authentic than that. I don't believe it. Who would come to Chinatown and get a burger? Apparently, some people do. That like up? How much? Oh, thank you. Thirty-nine baht for a chicken burger. Fifty-nine for a beef burger. Two bucks for a beef burger. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. French guy and his family owns this restaurant and I think he was in the news, etc. a few years ago. This guy really hustles for the customers too. He just got a couple more and well done. Yes, it's that time. Ice cold. Speaking Thai, they're all laughing. Well done. He's got the kid working for him now. <laughs> oh, wow. Fantastic. Okay, his young apprentice has wrangled in some customers. Parents are filming the whole thing. They ordered from here, too. Looks like he's recruited even more kids to help him now. I'm going to start nicknaming this guy Fagan. <laughs> Next, we're heading down to Nana, a different Nana. It's a foreigner who knows how to get through traffic. <laughs> okay, just a couple blocks down here, about five minutes away from Chinatown, is Nana.